from a young age, I can remember John, you know, shutting down our TV and the sound would be off, but the TV would be running and he would start, it started with weather and he would start, you know, letting us know what the forecast was going to be, what it might be tomorrow, what to look for. And so that was really fun. And then before we knew it, it turned into sports. He just, he loved it. He loved announcing and loved all those, you know, Cleveland announcers. And so to have watched this grow as a parent, this has been such a gift to watch this career grow for John. He's always been a broadcaster, you know, he's a commentator, he has his opinions. In the high school we play Madden, and he'd be broadcasting the game while he's playing the game. Like he'd say, Patrick, put the game on mute, I'm gonna broadcast. I just always thought that was the funniest thing. John walked into my office uh, actually between his eighth and ninth grade year, uh, introduced himself to me and uh, um, said he wanted to be in the broadcast club and he was very interested in, in broadcasting. He'd done some stuff at St. Bernadette's and so I got to know John a little bit and I remember a very bold statement. John said, Mr. McCormick, I'm going to be on ESPN someday. And I said, oh, that, that's a really bold statement to make for an eighth grader, but uh, hope, hope you can live out that dream someday, John. The last second personnel change that happened just before the game was going to start, a kid couldn't do the broadcast that was supposed to do it. And I turned to John and said, you're on the air, John. And he never missed a beat put on the headset and he was a natural. He just started doing what he does and his career took off from there. One of my favorites is the Big East Tournament that he now kind of, I, I would say, runs the show there, right? He does a little bit of everything right now for Fox and I, I just love being able to, to tune in when I can, no matter what channel it's on on TV. It's hard to put into words how incredible it is to turn on that TV and, and just see John going away broadcasting whatever sport it might be. And and for me personally, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's so funny watching some podcasts that I've listened to for a few years. And, and now John's being invited on those podcasts. Every time he's on TV, I get excited. Every broadcast I want to watch, it doesn't get old. And I'm proud of him. He loves to be in the game. It sounds like he's on the sidelines or he's in the game with these players calling the shots. His enthusiasm is just unmatched. And John's very good at adapting on the fly to big moments and, and big things that happen in games. So it's really John's ability to uh, have passion for what he does. And you can see it certainly with college basketball. That he's a very passionate college basketball fan uh, and become a resident expert. You know, and that's the great thing is, you know, John is now known across the country uh, as kind of the college basketball rising star uh, analyst. He, he knows the game so well. He knows the players, the coaches, and he's done such a good job gaining trust of the people he works with. So when coaches open up to him or athletic directors open up to him and you can see these interviews, they clearly trust John. They know he's gonna be a good journalist. He's gonna tell the true side of the story and he's done his homework. He knows what he's talking about before he goes into, a, into an interview. Follow your passion, it will lead to your purpose. A quote from Oprah Winfrey is something that I think sums up John. You know, he followed his passion. It led to today's purpose and what he's doing and um, set him for his career. The passion, dedication, those are things that I think got him to today. Everything that he put into broadcasting, from interviewing players to being with parents of those players to coaches, these are all the people that he has impacted with this passion that led him to the purpose. That, to me, just kind of sums up just kind of sums up John with his career and um, how he's gone from, from A to B and um, where he'll go, you know, in the future. That phone number uh, came across any 216 area code where when I'm in New Jersey, 216-651-0222 came across the screen and I said, that's St. Ignatius. And it was Father Giao calling me with, with that news. And I was overjoyed with emotion and I instantly thought of my dad, who I lost this year, because I know in that moment uh, that he was giving me a hug from heaven. And I know how proud he would be of this because this is a family honor. And so this is for you, Dad. Thank you for making St. Ignatius a part of my life. Without St. Ignatius, none of this is possible. St. Ignatius builds young men for what is ahead. When I walked in here, I was a, a boy. I learned how to be a man.